<laughs> right? I almost censored myself from doing that, but I thought, you know what? That's We're in the spirit. Let's just go with it. Uh, Daryl Lamb is back with us, a libations expert to let us know everything we need to know about Guinness. That's what we're talking about. Of course, Saturday is a very famous holiday. It is St. Patrick's Day. Everybody goes out and enjoys just a little bit of Irish fun for a day. It doesn't matter where you come from, where your people come from. Everyone's Irish on March 17th. And you know what's great is that when it's on a Saturday, you can uh, get in the spirit tonight and tomorrow. Oh, it, it's going to go for five days straight. You know, <laughs> by the time Monday morning rolls around, everyone's going to be Irished out. And if you're doing it from home, some great tips here on how to, you know, bring Guinness to the table. That's it. Irish pubs get jammed on Saturday, you know, like the lineup outside the Dublin Gate over here on Main is going to start at 7 a.m. And so if you don't want to go into an Irish pub and battle that out, you can always have a St. Patrick's Day party at home. And so, of course, we have this awesome option for us, which is the Irish Heritage Collection Pack from Guinness, which has all four of their core beers. So you get Guinness, Kilkenny, Harp, and one of my favorites, Smithix Ale. Uh, but one of the things is the Guinness can is nitrogenated. And what? so it has a little widget inside and it will uh, nitrogenate the beer. It'll add okay. nitrogen to the beer, which gives Guinness that creamy feel. So when you go to open up your Guinness, you're gonna hear a little pop and a fizz. I that, hear it. That yep. little it whistle. It sounds like a little whistle. It's a little messy. You want to tilt your glass, yeah. and then you want to pour it out. And it's going to be very messy. There is no doubt about it. And that's okay. That it doesn't mean it. you're doing it wrong. That's right. And then we just leave it here, and you're going to see that lovely cascade. Right? Wow, it sure is dark, that, isn't it? Yes, and so that is actually the protein of the beer collecting on the outside of the nitrogen bubbles, and it's actually creating uh, a force inside the beer. Then you can top it up through the top, through the middle, get that nice aromatic flavor profile, and when it's done, Thank you. It'll look like that. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's just for C. Can I give it a taste? I've actually oh, by the way, fire never away. tried a Guinness. Oh, Guinness is beautiful, rich, opulent. But if you're not into those big, dark porters, don't it's worry. Got they, that dark flavor. Yeah, they have some great stuff. One of my favorite beers, Kilkenny Irish Cream, does exactly the same thing with the nice, creamy head. Mm. So I pre-poured that for you. But if you're not into big, heavy ales, Ireland has a fantastic lager. Lager, of course, being the number one style of beer on the planet. And lager is just a lighter beer. Lighter style of beer developed uh, in the Czech Republic in Germany uh, uh, hundreds of years ago, but it ended up taking over the world. All your classic beers, Budweiser, Molson Canadian, uh, um, Parallel 49 East Van Craft Lager, they're all lagers. Harp is the lager, main lager from Ireland. I was about to smell it like a wine. Mm. <laughs> and you can, it's very aromatic and well made. So you have an awesome, awesome selection of Irish beers. But Ireland isn't only known for beer, it's also known for whiskey. And my wife is a massive whiskey fan from Ireland. I'm actually a whiskey educator because here was this blonde drinking whiskey at the bar and I said I better up my game and I ordered myself a Jameson. Oh, and so, I love that. Yeah, my That's entire career was developed because my wife loves Irish whiskey. All of about the ladies. That's right, and uh, Jameson is her favorite. This is the Jameson Black Barrel. They make this in toasted, charred American bourbon casks. Whoa, I didn't even bring the cup that close to my nose, and I could already mm -hmm. smell it. What a strong uh, aroma, What hey? they are doing down at the New Middleton Distillery in Cork is unbelievable. Wow. They've got great new Jameson products, Black Barrel, cast mates aged in Irish whiskey, or Irish beer casks, the, the Red Breast line. Jameson is on fire right now. Irish whiskey is the fastest growing whiskey category in Canada. The Black Barrel is beautiful because it's so functional. You can drink it in a uh, Jameson and Ginger, like a classic drink, but you can also sip it on its own. All right, one more sip there. Daryl Lamb, libations expert. Mm. Oh, wow. Rich, smooth. That, that thing retails for under $60. It's an absolute steal. There Irish whiskey, one of the best values in the world. Thank you so much for joining us again. Clean up on uh, <laughs> set. <laughs> Breakfast television continues. It's